Now a breaking update out of Virginia Beach where divers say they've recovered the body of a missing boater at the bottom of a residential lake in the Sherwood Lakes neighborhood. They've been searching since a canoe accident yesterday afternoon. And 10 on your side's Chris Horn was at the scene all day and says it was a tough day for crews. At 15, 51 hours, mm -hmm. uh, Virginia Beach police divers uh, located an unidentified male victim that was associated with yesterday's boating accident. Dive teams from Marine Police, EMS, and the Fire Department resumed their search right after daybreak this morning. They were using three side sonar units, and at about 11.30, they reported a target worth exploring, but couldn't make a recovery by 2 p.m. That's when they lowered a crab pot to mark the spot. So they used a weighted crab pot to uh, target in on the, the victim. Um, dropping that crab pot gave them um, an anchored point that the divers could work off of. By 4, they had brought the man's body to shore. The canoe with two people aboard flipped about 3.30 Sunday afternoon. The depth where it capsized is about 45 feet. The couple were reportedly not wearing life vests. I saw a man, the neighbor, who went out on his paddleboard, and I saw him bring back the female. But the man was never seen again. Residents here know the danger of this former sand pit. Authorities say some spots plunge as deep as 80 feet. My grandkids have. Mm -hmm. We have paddleboards. In fact, they were out there on Saturday. Uh -huh. um, and we always insist that, my wife and I always insist that they wear life vests out there. What happened here yesterday? Does it make you think twice at all about your daughter out there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely, they would have to have life vests on, which they usually do. You're rolling the dice and taking a huge risk, and it's much safer, to, obviously, to have it. And it's too bad that they didn't. Obviously, may have saved this person's life. That was Chris Horn reporting from Virginia Beach.